Hey guys, Ken Boyd with the Accounting Accidentally website. I wanted to talk about my most recent blog post, What Amazon FedEx Dispute Teaches Us About Cost Allocation. So if you've noticed, like me, a lot of delivery trucks on the road, I actually saw Amazon, UPS, and FedEx trucks all in the same blocks in front of my house during the holidays. Online business is booming, but a big factor is shipping costs. And the question is, how do you manage those costs, identify them, so you know how much each product shipment costs, and so you can price your product correctly? And that's what this article is really about. So what happens, I explain here, is that Amazon recently notified its third-party merchants, that is, independent business people that sell stuff on Amazon, that they could once again use FedEx Ground Network to ship orders placed under Amazon Prime membership program. They had stopped it because of performance issues. FedEx Ground wasn't meeting performance issues in terms of on-time delivery. So, good thing that they've got FedEx Ground again, but the real issue is, is that many third-party merchants had to find a different method to ship products when FedEx Ground was not an option and other options were more expensive. So the question is, if that's you and you're a third-party shipper through Amazon, how do you assign costs to measure your profitability? And in my book, Cost Accounting for Dummies, early in the book, I make a distinction between direct and indirect costs. So let's assume that you're manufacturing baseball gloves. A direct cost is a cost that can be directly traced to the product or service. So it's leather material from baseball gloves and labor costs to run machinery to make gloves. Those are direct costs that can be traced to a product or service. An indirect cost, on the other hand, is allocated. It cannot be directly traced. So if you're running a factory, you've got to heat and cool it regardless of the number of baseball gloves you make. That's an indirect cost. So that being said, let's go back to our third-party merchant at Amazon. So you'd love to ideally determine the exact cost to ship a particular item to a customer. In that sense, shipping costs are direct costs because you can directly trace them. But the question is, how much effort do you want to make to assign that cost, particularly if you're sending hundreds or thousands of shipments every month. The real question, next sentence, does the benefit of knowing the exact shipping cost outweigh the time and effort to collect the information? Fortunately, with technology, many companies can easily nail down shipping costs. You probably had that experience. You buy something online, you start the checkout process. When you enter your address, the e-commerce software computes the exact price to ship adds to your bill all automatically. And why is that important? Because the seller can confirm the exact cost to ship, which means that the owner can make more informed business decisions, which is what this is all about. So you can handle your costs several ways. You can add an actual cost to the invoice, as I did in my example. You may charge a flat rate per shipping. I see a lot of that with e-commerce. But you still use the actual shipping costs to calculate the specific profit or loss on each order. Or, big trend, you offer free shipping, but you use the actual cost to calculate the profit and loss for each order. So you're collecting and allocating all of your costs, but you're just not attaching them to an invoice. Because the more information you have on costs helps you manage your business. So really the lesson here is, I preach this over and over, every dollar your company spends must be traced or allocated to a product you sell. And if you apply the rule to your business, you'll know your total costs. You'll be able to price your product more accurately. So to wrap up, my new book, 50 Stories That Explain Accounting, will be out in 2020. More to follow. You can join Conference Room for free, where we have an online chat, articles, courses, all about accounting, You'll find out more at Conference Room. You can click through. And finally, my website, Accounting Accidentally. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.